My name is MJ Vilches, and welcome to part three of uh, the creation process of this comic cinematic that I'm planning to do for this month's uh, The Underland Chronicles Art Challenge. And for the part for part three, we are going to uh, be working on some fills here. So I'm going to start right away, without you know, without any delay. There is there yeah uh, yeah it rhymes. But anyways, we have two frames for the comic cinematic here, and what I'm planning to do is actually first start with this one, and the camera will pan, like pan up. I can't select the camera because I made it. Let's see. So the camera will start with touch tip, have her head like, buried on a holder because she doesn't like the smell of the humans. And then we'll go, the camera will go up. There will be some dialogues from Rip Red saying that, Go on, show him! And then, Rip Red will like, I mean, uh, Twitch Tip will stand up, sniff, do, sniff and do her lines. And then, there's probably a Solovit line as well. Saying that, she's a sensier. So, yeah, that's gonna be stuff that's gonna happen. But right now, we're gonna do some fills. So to fill, I'm actually going to get colors from this image right here for the fill. So I'm going to select Twitch Tip here. I'm going to disable from the selection the sketch and the background so that I don't accidentally select them. So I'm, we're right here in the Twitch Tip grease pencil element object thingy. And we're going to go to uh, the materials here. I'm gonna add the colors first, the, the colors that we're gonna be needing. So I'm gonna press this plus to add the material slot and then press new, excuse me. And this is going to be Twitch tip. Twitch tip fur. I'm gonna set this to a fill surface. And I'm just gonna grab the color of the fur right here. So now we have Twitch Tips Fur. Next, we'll need. I think we'll only need like two colors for Twitch Tip here one for the fur and one for the skin. And also uh, some for the teeth and the eyes. And one for the teeth and the eyes. So I'm just gonna go grab the color right here. That's the same color. This, the ears, the nose, and uh, like the paws will have the same color, skin color. So we have skin. Next, I'm gonna add uh, the teeth. Teeth would just be like a yellowish white white color, but leaning more into like yellow. Cause uh, rats don't exactly brush their teeth, don't they? So, and another one would be for the eyes. So eyes. A rat's eye would just be black, but for Twitch tip, I'm gonna make it slightly like a dark purple color, just so it like fits her like color palette. Just some kind of a you know with purple. She's a purple rat, like a dark purple rat. So there we go. Now we can we now that we have the materials, we can start adding the fills. So for the fills for Twitch tip, I actually only need one layer for it so i'm just gonna go add a layer and name it fill and then i'm just gonna go to front view hide the camera for now and uh this is gonna be easy actually all i need to do here is uh go to draw mode i can now close this since i already got the colors so i won't be needing that reference anymore so i'm just gonna go get the fill uh, tool and just fill up. Oh, I selected the raw materials. I should be selecting Twitch Tip Fur. And just use that to fill stuff here. Fill the fur parts, the fur area. I actually need to change some settings here. The brush settings. I think the leak size, I need to reduce it to one so that the, the fill doesn't have like empty spots like if I feel from afar here there are empty spots here that could be fixed by the leak size but yeah 
I'm just gonna try setting this to zero. Setting this to zero might cause some spill. Like this. But I guess uh, I can, we can easily edit that later. So I'm just gonna go do that. And most of the fur has been... Uh, has been uh, filled up there. I can edit this gaps here by just grabbing some of the points here. Oops. I actually need to lock the line layer so I don't accidentally edit it. And I can just keep going here. I'm bringing back some of the points here so that they don't spill. And pulling other points to get rid of gaps. So there we go. Like that. And we've fixed that easily. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna check a lot of the layers here. Just gonna make sure that it's that there's no spill and the gaps are all covered up. Usually the gaps are in these like pointy areas here, like that one, like like this one. And like so. So this part's pretty much okay. I'm just fixing like the pointy areas here. Yeah. This is actually uh, the way I color in, uh, in grease pencil. Because in other programs, once you f if you fill up, you can't do stuff like this where you can edit the points to like fix gaps and uh, spills. You can't really do that on other programs, I think. I, I think you can only do it in Blender Grease Pencil, you editing the points like this of a fill. Because if you do this in Creed or GIMP, once you like do the fill tool, you can't really edit the points like that. You have to use like an eraser tool to uh, have to use like an eraser tool to uh, get rid of gaps or uh, to like use paint to paint over. Uh, I mean, paint over gaps and uh, get rid of spills. You erase them. Yeah, this kind of method makes it easier to remove you know, gaps and spills. Which is why I really like doing 2D stuff in Grease Pencil in Blender. Having this much control. It's just so nice. It frees you from the challenges of having to erase and, and eh, maybe it's not too much of a hassle but still just being able to do something like that is nice okay so failed to see this part right here so that's one thing that you end up not seeing when you're like so zoomed in right here there's mm, i bet you there's still some parts here that i did not see that you probably can't see and then you know, just don't be afraid to say anything in the chats if you're watching live. So we have the, the, the initial skin, I mean fur fill here. Now I can proceed to the next one, which is the skin. So I'm just going to go to the materials here. Select the twitch tip skin. I can use the fill tool to like, just do that. And now this time I'm going to use my pen. Oh, see, there's a gap right there that I missed. So once you, you there's stuff that you just miss unless you change the perspective. So I'm gonna use this. Press Shift to uh, uh, still selecting the fill tool. I'm pressing Shift to like draw over 
like this part of the ear here because it's got some open gaps I can probably close that but uh, this one makes things easier I guess I forgot how to properly close a gap from for a fill gonna have to recall that soon or recall how to do that soon I'm just gonna go grab this uh, make sure to fill up some gaps here or some uh, I don't know I think it's gaps the term for that so there you go I forgot how to close it's not shift control is different alt is I don't know shift alt how about D then is that no 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 D is for annotations I can just do something like that so this is another method of like covering up some uh, you know so I can easily uh, do that so I'm just gonna draw a circle right here and then fill wait it's still spilling into the main um, to this and to the fur part here I'm not sure what's causing it it's gotta be some of the gaps here yeah what's causing that tell you what never mind I'm just gonna go with like drawing it it's just doing something like that it's pretty easy to do it like this as well not worrying about the spill because I can easily edit it as you saw so there we go like that and then edit the uh, gaps I mean the, the spills there move some points here to make sure that there are no spills and gaps and there we go now let's do the uh, small point I probably need to set the leak size higher to fix this I'm gonna go higher and higher still not fixing that so let's save ourselves some headaches and just draw over this just uh you know just so we're not too lazy to do the fills I'm going to have to uh do this because my hands are tired or I won't be able to like maintain a accurate whatever is the term <laughs> I have a term problem sometimes I don't know what words to use for certain things and I don't want to pretend that I know the meaning of something I don't want to be the kind of guy that pretends that I get it even though I don't so that's just that leads to so many problems pretending that you actually understand when you didn't pretending to know it when you don't so there we go something like that it's for the paw so the color will still drastically change depending on how I'm going to composite this. And I can easily change the color of this later. So I'm just going to do something like this here. And I can probably fill the rest. So there we go. Also the tail should be easy to just do something like that. And now for the last parts of Twitch up here to fill up. We have the teeth, which uh, I get leaks somewhere. I don't know where. Gotta make sure that they're not on the different. Sp not. Gotta make sure that they're uh, uh, they're on the same 3D space, like they're in the same 
this part of the 3D space. Gotta make sure that we're also in uh, front view, front orthographic view. So there's no issues in the position of uh, the fills. So I'm just gonna draw over the small ones here. And there we go, teeth colored. Last one would be the eyes, just, just something like that will do. Because rats' eyes are, they're not. Oh wait, I'm am I changing the right? I need to change the fill. I'm gonna make it slightly brighter. Something like that. And we have a fill for twitch tip. So yeah, for the rest of the like shot here, I can just select and unselect twitch tip now. Actually, I need to select twitch tip again. I need to be in object mode. It's like BG. And for the background, I can just separate this into different layers. But it's pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna just first thing I'm going to do is like get make a material. Uh, set this to the caverns color. Which is going to be like the cave area. So just make it a, a bit uh, brownish, I think. Or what's the opposite color of purple? I think it was yellow. Yeah, yellow is the, the complementary color of purple. So I'm gonna go for like a yellowish tint for the background here just to give them a bit of a contrast you can actually just go draw mode make sure that we're on I'm gonna lock sketch because for the background there's not gonna be any line arts I'm just gonna go caverns caverns BG because there's also a caverns FG right here I can just uh, nope uh, I need to use the uh, square tool and just cover this whole area like this for the caverns like that and I'm gonna go top view I'm gonna get the uh, moss field material moss field of the stadium and I'm just gonna go uh, this is I did not uh, I did it on the on the grease pencil layer it should be should be in the material uh, options here. Material properties. Create new material moss field. Always forgetting to let go of the shift. Fill and I'm just gonna go grab a, like a yellowish green color. And then where are we? In top view. What I can do is just do something like that and that will be the floor I can also just move this I probably need to separate this layer as well and do that can I actually need to rotate this on the x-axis like that uh, properly like bending towards like that so that it doesn't cover up the other 2d layer and there we go now we have like a 3d 2d background and I need to get this and move this to a different layer by pressing M and then new layer and go back here that should be caverns background and I can lock that and this is the moss field it's just you know it's all, it actually makes sense to also make a new layer for the moss field just so we can like turn off and turn on parts of our drawing here or a 2d project in 3d so now if I move this there should be like some parallaxing going on or the floor will stay like right there so yeah I guess that's it for now for this stream now I'm not gonna make a long stream but yeah this is just to show you some fill like how to fill stuff um, 
create a 3D kind of 2D, 3D background here using fills. That's pretty much the gist of it. You, uh, for the rest, you could just add different layers. Kind of like if I add like another caverns here. I'm gonna go select this and add a layer. I need to lock the moss field one. I'm gonna make this caverns. FG and this actually needs to be at the top so that it's like in front of the others and I'm gonna move the cursor right here or maybe maybe right there yeah, the cursor is gonna be right there and then I'm gonna go create another uh, caverns material here I can just grab caverns actually Let's press 2 and just rename that caverns FG and I'm gonna make this darker because the closer the object is to you the darker they are and the farther they are the lighter they are that's uh, one of the things I learned in art class I'm gonna use the draw tool for this one the pen tool I'm gonna set the uh, origin to 3d cursor the stroke placement to 3d cursor so that when I draw right here the caverns area Uh, it's gonna be right on the 3d cursor like the placement of the stroke so now there's gonna be like a parallaxing going on there as well as you can see here yeah that's kind of like the gist of it first we look at I might have to like draw the caverns way closer here to the ground but yeah i'm gonna do that off recording right now this is it this is uh part three of the creation process thank you so much for those who watch up to this point i forgot to say hello to scared flyer i don't know which part of the video did he say hello but yeah hello to scared flyer and yeah thank you to to the ones who watch in the live through to scared flyer and night all games also to you who watch this on youtube and reach this part thank you and i also want to thank um the ones who's given me support through kofi uh, to hansen distribution the agency eric madrigal also to elizabeth money magnolia weather shield zq star johnny night all games thanks tristan wintle embody scared flyer thank you and also to kiryu mugage uh, they supported me through co freecom slash student loss productions and that's actually the best way that one can support me in this endeavor of mine but yeah also uh, join discord server the link should be in the about section if you're on twitch and in the description if you're on youtube um, follow student loss productions everywhere on the internet and yeah that's all for now thanks for watching my name is mj vilchas and see you on the next part we're gonna be doing some animations probably we'll see bye